Hello, my name is Gustavo, and I'm going to talk about Fermi, which is a quantum chemistry package in Julia. So the goal of Fermi is to be a development package, so people can write their own methods and explore the possibilities, but also to offer efficient implementation so it can be used in real applications, in real studies. Um, and the first ingredient you need to do quantum chemistry are those molecular integrals. Okay? So we use uh, Libsynth, which is a C library that can compute all those integrals. Okay? And this module Fermi.Libsynth, you can access the very uh, minimal wrap around those Libsynth functions. Okay? So, but it's nice to go um, up in abstraction. So we offer an integral helper okay which is a very important object in Fermi so using the, um, a few macros you can set a molecule okay you can set a basis set and then you can just call the integral helper and your object is created now what do you do if you if you want to compute some integral you just access it like um, a dictionary if the integral is not computed at it will be computed and stored so here we want to get the overlap and there you go you get the overlap matrix as I said, the integral helper is, is a very important structure in Fermi because it guides how the computations are done. So as far as precision, type of orbitals, how you handle the electronic repulsion integrals. Okay, so as an example, um, in a couple cluster computation, if you have RHF orbitals in there, you're going to bypass the first step. This first step that get bypassed is the one where we add off-diagonal Fock terms to your amplitude and for uh Hartree-Fock orbitals those terms are zero and here you have this term the virtual to the fourth term which is uh by far the tensor that we will occupy um the most memory in your computation so you can uh, do that for example using density fitting depending on the specific identity of your integral helper and finally we have tensor contractions uh all over uh quantum chemistry so we, for sure, we take advantage of tensor operations, and we also implement our own um, array type that can use TBLIS as a tensor contraction tool. So here I'm going to create a few dummy um, tensors, and we're going to run this tensor optimization here using tensor operations and use presumably BLAS, and it takes about half a second, okay? However, you can set table is equals true to use table instead and you see that we get a great improvement so that's another tool that we have available for you to use in your methods okay thank you